under his tongue because that whole New World Order thing, whatever you want to call it, the Illuminati, whatever, yeah. whatever the hell you want to call it, is some secret agenda, right? Yeah. It says, though he spirit, though he spirit uh, and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. In other words, it's secret. The, the, the thing that destroys him is the fact that the secret is out, out yeah. you know? Yeah. It okay. says, yet his meat in his bowels is turned, turn, it is the gall of asp within him. It's a poison. It's going to turn into a poison. That enterprise is going to turn into a, a, a toxin. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. V vomiting is, you can't make yourself vomit. I can't say I give you $100. Vomit, uh, vomit is involuntary. You can't fake it, you know? You can hear the difference. Oh, that's a fake, you know, you're throwing up. That's fake. Yeah. You have to actually vomit. Like in that movie, The Road, when you listen to the commentary, the little boy threw up, right? Yeah. So he said, well, when the boy threw up, he really threw up because he was sick. So we said, let's shoot the scene now. Because if he had faked it, you can see that it was, that, that it was fake, you know? So, and so I'm going to read this again, 15 verse, Job 20 verse 15. He have swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. So that's involuntary. It's not going to be that you want it. It's going to be taken from you. It's going to be violently put, get, given back, all right? It said the Most High shall cast them out of his be belly. So the Most High is going to do that. It said, he shall suck the poison of asps, more toxins, more poison. The viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey, which is the land of uh, Israel, and butter. 18. That which he labored for, what, what was it, how was his labor? His labor was by way of thief, uh, thievery. All right? That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down or not digest it. According to his substance shall the restoration be, because you got Jake talking about reparations. We are going to get reparations, but we ain't going to get it from Esau ain't going to give it to you. You're going to get it back. The most High going to give you reparations. And part of the reparation is them going into slavery under you because the check ain't going to do it, my man. It says, uh, his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. You ain't going to have a good time, and you're not going to eat well. You're going to eat. That's about it. It says, because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor Israel, because we're not concerned about the people of Bangladesh and uh, uh, fucking East Africa and Sudan. We're not, that's their problem, all right? Because he have violently taken away an house which he builded not, which is the nation of Israel, surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired, which is your new world order, order agenda. You, your new world order, you're not going to reach the, uh, the, the apex of your agenda, all right? Uh, 21. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. They're going to be looking to get him because he's going to be a bum. He's going to go back to being a bum. Hey, um, you go out in the street, you want to rob somebody, you don't go to a, 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 a derelict or a bum because he ain't, what do he, what he got? What are you going to steal from him? His smelly drawers? Huh? He ain't got nothing to steal. Yeah. It says 22. And the fullness of his sufficiency, which he's in now, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now that word wicked right there, that, now you got to go, now you got to go in, uh, into the etymology. You got to go into the, the root words, right? I, I think the word there is aimal. Uh, you, you're right. Yeah. The word there for the wicked is aimal. Right. So let's click on it. Right. The word is aimal, which means laborer, sufferer, wretched one, laborer, workman, sufferer, which, is, which are the Israelites. So if you ask any other camp, what does that word wicked mean? Oh, it's, uh, white people coming against other white people. 
No, it ain't talking about that. That's why you got to you got to know that Hebrew, you know. Oh, the laborers of your vineyard have cried against you. That's kept that's back right. By fraud. James, yep, James, yep. yeah. The plowman shall overtake the reaper. Yeah, the plowman is the laborer, the eye mile. It says, uh, it says, I'm sorry. Yeah, because the bank has ripped us off, man. Right, it says uh, 22 again. And the fullness of his sufficiency, which he's at the, he's almost at the top, at the apex of his New World Order agenda. He shall be in straits, hard times. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Which are the laborers? The plowman shall overtake the reaper. Um, 23. When he is about to fill his belly, fulfillment of his agenda, the New World Order agenda, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he, while he is eating. And that rain is, is not drops of water, it's drops of ICBM missiles. Right. All right? He shall flee from the iron weapon, ICBM missiles, and the bow of steel, ICBM missiles, shall strike him through. Because he's going to try to escape, but he's not going to be able to escape. It is drawn and cometh out of the body, which is the silos. Yeah, the glittering sword, which are missiles, out of, out of his gall, which are the silos. Terrors, terrors are Five, upon him. Four. All darkness shall be hid in the secret places. A fire not blown, nuclear missiles, ICBM, shall consume him. It shall go ill, bad, with him that is left in his tabernacle. So every where you at, your tabernacle is America. Your tabernacle is also over there in Europe. It says that... <laughs> The heaven shall reveal his iniquity. The, heaven, the heavens is, is the internet. Yeah. Shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. And there's a video out where they're, they're the down there, Rockefeller's you know? down there in Chile, and you got this Latin dude saying, get out of here, we don't want your world order, we don't you want your new world order, get out of here, we don't get out of here. It says, uh, this is, that's a back of two. They cried after him as a thief. That, that's right. He cried after him as, as, as a thief. This is the portion of a wicked man, Esau, from the Most High, and the heritage appointed unto him by the Most High. So this is the Most High's program. You also, you're a traitor to Chile. Uh, Mr. Agustino, um, you're a traitor to Chile, is, okay? Um, you're a traitor to Chile. I just looked up the word What's agenda real right quick, now? right? Okay, and okay. the definition for the word okay. agenda you know is a list of you know things to be considered or you're done. You're participating with him. A plan or goal that you're guides someone's say, behavior okay? and that is often kept secret. <laughs> That's why in we'll back in Job fail. 20 and 12, we'll it says, Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. Cause it's, it's a secret. Cause it's this agenda is secret to 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 the to the world. You know they 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 that's that was their plans from the beginning that their agenda was going to be secret, right? It says though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, uh, yet his meat and his bowels is turned. That's that rust because it's it's turning into that rust. Is this that's that corrosion that's spoken of in the book of James, the fifth chapter? Yeah, his so-called knowledge of the new world order. That's that meat, God. which the New World Order, when you get into it, it's all bullshit, man. Basically, w what God. they're doing is reaching back to the, the old corroded philosophy of the Egyptians and the Babylonians and the Sumerians and all that. And it didn't help them, so what make, make this devil show you how stupid he is? It didn't help them. What make him think it's going to help him? Con. <laughs> it says, it is the gall of ass within him. Right. I know Pastor Tar just read this, but I just wanted to get one, one point out of here. Another point. It says, he, sh he has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly, right? <laughs> this is Proverbs 28 and 8. He that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all the gold, the gold vaults that the Rothschilds got—that's really for us, man. Con, con. They just keeping it, keep everything warm. Keep everything warm. 
They just keeping it warm yeah, they're for not us. Stupid enough to destroy it. Right. This is hey, pa- uh, 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 what is it? Uh, riches that never lost. It, it's just transferred, transferred from one sovereign to another. Kind. So all that gold that they got that they stole is going to be transferred right back onto us, and it's going to be melted t- down. Kind. Kind. And it's going to have Hebrew on it. Kind. It's going to have the <laughs> Hebrew on it. Kind. I got a, a precept for you brothers. Uh, Isaiah 44 and beginning at 24, it says, Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, that f- and he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord, Yahweh, that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrateth, <laughs> frustrateth, these devils about to be frustrated, the tokens of the liars, that's, that's who? That's that devil, man, because he's a supreme liar, beginning with the bankers. It says that frustrateth the tokens, meaning the signs of the liars, and maketh diviners, or diviners mad. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, Barack. <laughs> <laughs> that maketh diviners. <laughs> you know, it's an inside joke. It ain't really talking about him. I mean, he's <laughs> yeah, let me move on. And, and make him, <laughs> make him diviners mad. That turneth, <laughs> that turneth wise man backward. <laughs> and maketh their knowledge foolish. That's the goal of Asp, turning in that bastard, man. You know? Maketh their knowledge foolish. You gonna find out that so-called New World Order bullshit is foolish, man. It's all bullshit. Yeah, I got the transfer scripture, uh, wealth transferred. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Mm-hmm. All right, so going back to the book, right? It says yeah, the... Let's go back. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let, let, him read. let me go back to Revelation okay. 20. Then go to the book. There's, a, there's a, just a little more <laughs> that, that confirmeth the word of his servant. The, the, you know, hey, th- like we talked about the chip two, three years ago, is being what? Confirmed, right? Two, three years ago, they were laughing at us. You know, you guys are, you know, on crack, whatever the hell they were saying. talking about back in 07. Yeah. 08, 07. Well, there you go. Before that, before YouTube, we were talking about right. the chip. Right, right. But like the scripture said, that confirmeth the word of his servant. So now it's being confirmed. Everything is all kind of knowledge coming out on the chip, right? that confirmeth the word of his servant, which we're his servants. We're the ones that brought out the word on the chip. Them other groups didn't. And performeth the counsel of his messengers, <laughs> that saith to Jerusalem, thou shalt be ha- inhabited. And to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built. And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. So we, we, we're waiting for that, man. <laughs> we're waiting for that. Uh, Revelation 20, chapter um, chapter 20, verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nation. Okay. Go, go read that again. Okay. Go back, go to the top, okay. Uh, Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he, he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loose a little season. Yeah, deceived. He how did he deceive the world? He started with a word, starting with the, with, the, with the letter R. Renaissance took down the dark images, which he couldn't even take down. All of them, but he b- replaced them the best way he can with his images, man. He took them same famous people like Moses and Elijah and uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, whom the world calls Jesus the Christ, sweet Jesus. And what he did was he, t- he saw that they were black images, you know, and then he put up white images of them. That's why today when you go to any church, you see a, a image of a, a so-called white man, all right? That's that's what you see. So that's that's how he deceived the nations. 
and he also deceived the nations through the Roman system. Like, like I said before, when, when it says about, talks about the image in Revelation, the 13th chapter, Nate likes to pull up the picture of Caesar Boger and said, that's the image. That's not the image. The image is the system of the Roman Empire. Because you have Edomites that are of the elite that don't believe that are not Christians, man. Right. You, you have elite people of the elite that are atheists, man. Right. You know? Verse 4, and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the soul. That we believe that that's, that's us. We, we are those, those apostles and those men, the servants of the Most High. So J John, and John saw himself. John saw himself on the throne. It says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Right, the, rest of the, dead, the rest of the dead, even though... A third of Israel is going to make it. The other third is going to have to come back in a reincarnation. But they're part of that first resurrection. Yeah. The rest of the dead is talking about the mother nations. Because Esau is going to be, he's going to be ousted. He's going to be destroyed. But then the other nations, they're going to be put back in order. But they're still going to be under us. But they're going to have, their, they're, going to have they're going to be, what's that scripture where it says under their own vine and fig, fig tree? Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Which are Israel. Yep. Which are Israel, not the elect, all the Israel. On, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of Yahweh Shai, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Yeah, and that second death is the nuclear missiles, you know. That's because the first world was destroyed by water. That was the first death. It says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. So now this, this chapter here, it jumps back and forth in history. You know, it jumps back during the, during the time of the Renaissance. It jumps back before that during the time when the, when the uh, um, um, pagan Roman Empire was in power. Then it jumps into the future, into the kingdom. You know, and it keeps jumping back and forth in time periods. That's why people find it so hard to really understand the book of Revelation. Well, Try to understand it. If you're not of the elect, you can't get it anyway. That's why you got a lot of these guys teaching this madness out here, man. Because they don't, they, the most I didn't open up their eyes to this book. The mysteries. It says, um, it says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. And that's go going on, going during the time of the, um, of the, uh, uh, Renis the beginning of the Renaissance. You know, and the reason why it said that because this, when when Esau came out of the uh, out of out of the uh, Dark Ages into the Renaissance, that was the beginning of his end. That's why the Lord said that uh, Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So the end of the world, uh, as far as is, is the last um, um, empire to rule on Earth before Yahweh Shai came back, was going to be Esau. You know, and that's where they're ruling, and their rulership started. You know, in like in the in the mid to late 1300s on up during the Renaissance period, all the way up until today, and w w their first job was to go around the whole world and, and deceive the whole world. You know, so now we're at the end of their deception. Their their mysteries are being revealed. That the, the deception is is being is being shown to the to the elect. You know, uh, uh, of what the truth really is. You know, and and part of that deception is that microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Yeah, the mystery of iniquity. Uh, part of their deception was they're trying to show themselves as being righteous, but they're they're wicked. Right. You know, when you, when you when you uh, measure them up against the scriptures, you see that they're the wicked. That's right. They're not, and there's nothing righteous about them. That's right. That's right. You know, and that's part of it because the Lord is at this time is 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 revealing them. He's pulling back that veil and showing the world who the wicked is, but only the elect is going to see it. Yeah, and that they don't look like the Most High. There's no such thing as little baby angels, you know? Yeah, that the Most High is not an old white man look like a senior citizen yep. 
on on Blue Cross and shit, you know. And then the, they got that that painting the finger of God. That's what I was going to mention. <laughs> look at that. No, but the reason I was going to mention that because if you look at the hands, yeah, the hands uh, make an M. Cause that was like a Masonic thing that that, mm. that that these devils put together. So when they commissioned uh, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, whichever one it was, that was a Masonic thing. Yeah. And you look at the the hand. I believe it was the hand of the, uh, supposedly the Most High. Yeah. Is, is is held out like an M. And the other guy is supposed to be Adam. Yeah. And then both of them got one and a half inch penis penises, man. You need a tweezer to pick that shit up. Yeah, man. You going <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, brother. <laughs> um, this is verse eight, and shall go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth. Yeah, hey, like drawing on that painting, that's deceived the most of the world. Yeah, in that so-called Catholic Church, they got the well, you got yeah. the Sistine.